Hello, my butterfly babies, and welcome to my channel. This channel is designed to help you break out of your cocoon and to rise and fly. So today's pickle card reading is money blessings on the way. We want to find out what money blessings are on the way to you and, and a lot more about that. Okay, so in order to help you pick your pile, I'm going to reach into the charm box and pick one charm for each pile. One, one, one. Okay, let's see. You have this little charm that says Namaste. Okay, Namaste. Wow. Okay, number two, number two, number two, number two. And you have this gold butterfly. Okay, let's see. And number three, number three, number three. Number three. You have this gold flamingo, okay? So, wow, let's see. Let's get started. Um, let's take a quick look at the piles. Up close, we have the pile number one. It's this card honeysuckle, the number 23, with this namaste charm and the green aventurine crystal. Okay, and let's look at pile number two. We have... This card that says Birch, the number one, the butter, gold butterfly charm, and the yellow aventurine crystal. Okay, and let's look at pile number three. And for pile number three, we have this card that says Oak, the number seven, the gold flamingo charm, and the pyrite stone. Okay, so these are the three piles. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, so just go ahead and pick whichever pile speaks to you and I will see you at your reading. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with pile number one. We wanna find out what money blessings are coming number one's way. Hey. Pile number one, if you selected this card Honeysuckle with this little charm that says Namaste and the Green Aventurine Crystal, this is your reading. So right off the bat, with this card Honeysuckle and the number 23, Honeysuckle, you know, number one is so sweet, okay? Honeysuckle actually is one of my favorite scents. And so I'm hearing that your money blessing it has to do, you know, obviously it's it's going to be a sweet, unexpected money blessing, but I'm also hearing that it has to do with other people. And with this namaste, I'm hearing that people will want to go out of their way to do really nice, generous things for you, okay? And, you know, with honeysuckle, excuse me, need water, with honeysuckle, you know, it, it's it's famous for like it's used a lot for love in love because it's so sweet and it attracts that sweet sweetness attracts good things and good luck. It also attracts prosperity, and with this green aventurine, it's like doubling up your prosperity luck. And I'm hearing that to help you attract prosperity at this time and money to you you're gonna to want to use the fragrance honeysuckle. So whether you you know can get your hands on like dried honeysuckle and burn it, or even honeysuckle oil or some perfume with honeysuckle in it, um, that or even an amulet with honeysuckle, it's going to help you draw in those money blessings at this time. And again, with namaste, I'm hearing this is gonna be a really peaceful time filled with prosperity. Okay, so let's see what else. What money blessings are on the way for pile number one? Wow, okay, those two fell. So, bountiful nature. Wow, I'm gonna get, it says spending time in nature helps shift you to a higher vibration and reminds you of God's infinite abundance. Go outside and enjoy a walk or a hike with your pet. Meditate beneath a tree, garden, sit under the stars or do some other activity to connect you with the limit, limitless vastness. Okay, so yeah, bountiful. So that's a confirmation that this bountiful harvest is coming. This this money and this prosperity is on the way, okay? And it's funny because even in this picture, I'm seeing these yellow flowers that look like honeysuckle. And it's like 
the little the little angel she's watering the honeysuckle so again you're it's almost like you're becoming a magnet you're a money magnet right now with that sweet honeysuckle um scent and the sweet honeysuckle properties that are drawing these money blessings to you Okay, let's see. This one says words of abundance. You have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerfully positive words. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you will attract for yourself and others. Yes, that's this namaste. And that's why I was saying that you are almost like you are the honey. You, you're, you're honeysuckle. You're attracting people just like how, you know, the honey attracts the bees. You are attracting these people who are going to help, you know, open doors for you, give you money, blessings, um, connect you to uh, financial sources, bestow you with gifts and money. And so you are attracting these things. Okay. And you need to speak those words of abundance. So I'm going to link some prosperity meditations in the description box because that's going to help manifest your money blessings faster at this time but wow you've got a lot i mean this is just confirming so much about this honeysuckle this sweet this this money coming the the money blessings the generous things it's like people will not be able to resist you it's like they're going to go out of their way to do good things for you and help you in a financial way Okay, so let's see what else. Money blessings for pile number one. Please tell us for income, money, finance, career, abundance, prosperity, finance, promotion, money, abundance, cash. Please speak and tell us. Okay, what is it? The administrator, it says, I walk with a foot both in earthly and spiritual worlds. Yeah, and that's just like this card with the bountiful nature. This is telling you that you need to connect to nature, but that nature is also drawing these spiritual elements and blessings to you. Okay. So you want to, you want to do, you know, like I said, you want to have that honeysuckle aroma, that aromatherapy. You want to be out in nature. You want to connect yourself. I'm hearing like the root chakra also. Okay. With this, with the red bird and the yellow birds right here with these eggs, but I'm seeing the, the root chakra. Um, you want to focus on the root chakra, but look at these eggs. Okay. I'm hearing that these, all of these eggs are representing your prosperity. And I'm, and this I'm seeing as one of those helpful, generous people that is helping orchestrate your blessings. Okay. They are helping you. This person's assisting you to prosper and assisting you with receiving these money blessings. Okay. So you have a lot of assistance and some of the assistance is um, from higher powers and from above. You've got, cause I'm seeing these birds in this, in, on this card as spiritual, you know, like angel guides and your, and your spirit animals that are on the other side that are also helping orchestrate. Cause this is like a conductor orchestrate your money blessings that are on the way. Okay, so you've got a lot coming <laughs> and, and I feel like you're getting money from multiple sources. So it's going to be highly abundant. So let's see, let's find out from your past life, what is helping you with money blessings right now from your past life. <gasps> Look at that knighthood. Okay, so this goes along again. I feel like you have people here on earth because it says both on the earthly and spiritual it says well, i walk with one foot earthly and spiritual so i'm and feeling like you have people here that are going to help you financially and protect you financially okay and, but you also have i feel like it, this knighthood this is from a past life this shows me that you were this strong person that had this, you know, wearing this armor that was involved in battles and different things. And it's showing me that because of this past life, it has made you like, like almost like titanium, almost like um, your protection is, you're protected on this high level. Like this never left you. Like what you did in this life, it, you're now benefiting from now, you know, in this, in this present life, this protection, Okay, so this is letting me know that even if, you know, you have temporary dips and and temporary obstacles in finances, this you will you will always be protected. You will always bounce back. You will always recover. You will always um, be replenished and restored financially. Okay, you're protected and see there we go again. So
So this shows me that you were in these war, it says wars and battles. So you were a fighter in another, in one of your past lives. And I feel like you are being rewarded for all of this that you did back then. You're being rewarded in this lifetime. And now you did all the fighting. You did all the wars. You, you did all this. You were this strong figure fighting. And now you're reaping the rewards in this life with this sweet honeysuckle and these money blessings. And with all of these people that want to help you. And I feel like a lot of the people that are helping you on on the higher and your higher powers are people that you were with in this past life that we're fighting with you. And, you know, some of these people today, like I said, you are, you have earned, it's almost like you've earned your, your benefits and you've earned your money blessings and you've earned all this protection from things you did in the past, way back and, you know, in a different life. Oops. And I just, okay. So let's see what else. Pile number one, what money blessings are on the way? Please speak and tell us money blessings for pile number one. Okay. Look at the flower again, a grand symphony. <gasps> and see the hummingbird eating out of this sweet flower? Yeah, so this is just, and again, it's funny because this is a grand symphony. And we were talking about how this person's like an, like an um, conductor of an orchestra. So everything's coming together. People here and people on the other side are, are orchestrating your money blessing and orchestrating your success so you can experience that sweetness, that honeysuckle sweetness. Okay, and this is quieting the mind. Yeah, so this is a reminder that you don't have to worry at all, okay? You need to go out in nature and have that peaceful, peaceful mindset because all of this is coming together for you. Like you, it's you... Your job is to be peaceful and to connect with nature and to speak words of abundance and to, to know and believe that these blessings are coming, okay? So you just want, don't don't get worried, well, when, when is it coming or, or how, much, how much is it going to be or who's going to help me? Don't worry about that. All of that is, is being orchestrated. All you have to do is stay peaceful with this namaste. This is perfect for this because it looks like this figure is meditating. So you just have to stay in this peaceful, positive place and everything is being put together and orchestrated behind the scenes for you. The Grand Symphony. Okay. So let's see what else. What, what chakras? Whoa. <laughs> okay. That's a lot. This dark blue one is speaking to me. We'll get one more. Okay. Well, we'll take this top one. Okay. Let's take these two. Okay, vulnerability. Showing vulner vulnerability is a sign of strength, right? So this is the uh, third eye chakra, okay? And like I said, you're getting a lot of spiritual help. And it's just saying you can be peaceful. You can, you can be vulnerable because you are highly protected, okay? So don't be afraid to show your softer side. And divinity, it says, recognize the divine in the mirror. And this is the crown chakra. So this is just a reminder that you want to do all of that spiritual quieting of the mind you want to open your your um, crown chakra and your third eye chakra and just open that open your mind and your third eye to peace you're, you're channeling peace within you so that you will have that positivity and you know you'll have that assurance and faith that this money blessing is coming okay that's your job is to keep yourself peaceful okay and focused and full of faith Okay, so let's see what else. What, uh, we're going to shuffle the wisdom, inspiration, advice cards and take three final messages. Money blessings for pile number three. Let's do uh, one, two, let's do three. So we have pursue your passion. Right. So you're able to, you already know that a money blessing is coming. So at this time, you want to do those, those things that you actually enjoy. Okay. You want to quiet your mind, stay peaceful, and do a hobby. Like if your passion is um, crocheting or, you know, whatever it may be, or, or some kind of sport, tennis, or you do um, word puzzles, whatever your passion is, you know, or it could be anything. And, and you want to just pursue that, okay? Because good times are coming, pile number one. Yes, those good times and those money blessings are being orchestrated and they are on the way. And last but not least, baby steps. Yeah. So what, like I said, you want to stay peaceful. 
take one thing at a time and know that these blessings are on the way, okay? You don't need to rush them because they're on the way. Perfect divine timing is in place and you're going to really enjoy this new sweet, these sweet money blessings. Pile number one, this has been your reading. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And until then, I will see you soon. Bye, my butterfly babies. Okay, we are going to move on to pile number two and see what money blessings are coming their way. Pile number two, if you selected this card, Birch, the number one, with this little gold butterfly and the and yellow aventurine, this is your reading. So right off the bat, I'm seeing with this birch leaf, bir the birch, the qualities of the birch are like, they symbolize new beginnings, rebirth, um, like a new, a new project, uh, growth, learning. So new things basically. Um, and that goes along with this uh, yellow aventurine because I'm hearing new opportunities. I'm hearing like the start of something new, the start of a new, something new is blossoming in your life. Something new is starting. And with the butterfly, you know, that's confirmation that something new is coming. You're, you're becoming the butterfly. Okay. With the number one, I'm hearing that you have a lot of personal power available to you and that personal power and things that you have. I'm hearing the groundwork that you have already laid is finally going to manifest, okay? And that is bringing your money blessing. So let's see what else. Pile number two, what money blessings are coming for pile number two? And the other thing about birch is that it, it helps remove negativity. Like back, back, um, wow, here we go. Um, back, you know, I don't know if people still do it, but... Very, you know, in the past, they would use like um, birch brooms out in like for farmers or for gardeners. They would they would create a birch broom to sweep away any negativity away from their harvest, away from their, you know, their plants or their flowers and or what they were growing. Okay, wow, look at this. So pile number two, it says God is your source. Everything you need is supplied by the infinite sources of God and your faith opens the doorway to receive. In God, there is no lack or limitation. Rather, there is plenty of abundance for all to share. Yeah, and that's why I'm feeling this optimism because you're going, this is like some windfall situation where you're going to, it's going to be something that, you, it's like you laid the groundwork for something and now it's the harvest is finally coming. And that's why you're now, you know, finally reaping the rewards of all the hard work you were doing. And that's how your money blessing is coming. Wow. That one just, whoa. <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. These, these cards are literally flying like all off the top. So the first one that flew out, this is um, for money, income, finance, career, and abundance is the magician. And this is saying, I am a master manifester. And look at this big pot of gold coins. This is what's coming. This is what you have manifested for money blessings. Okay, again, the things that you have already been working to manifest are finally going to come to fruition and finally start to be, you know, you'll start to see the tangible rewards and the tangible uh, manifestation of everything you've been working on. Okay. So it's like, it's going to speed up where, you know, you're finally reaping, reaping the rewards, reaping the benefits, reaping your money. Okay. Communication or the, excuse me, the communicator. And look at this mercury it says mercury. So that means that this, this is coming fast and soon. Okay. And I'm hearing it says words have power. So what I'm hearing is that I'm hearing like good things are being said about you is what I'm hearing. Like, a lot of good things are being said about you and this and whatever you've been working on. So I'm hearing like, wow, did you hear about pile number two? They're doing this or wow, pile number two is really, you know, um, really has their life together, getting their life together or wow, pile number two. Have, did you see their project or did you hear about, you know, what they're doing or did you hear about their job promotion or so, so all of these different things I'm hearing is people are actually saying good things about you and about this prosperity that you've been able to manifest because you laid the groundwork. You have a lot to do with this prosperity. Okay. Wow. That is so cool. 
And the other thing that's interesting, I was thinking again about birch is that birch can grow after like a fire. So after total devastation, the birch can still have a new beginning. And that's what you're experiencing. You're having this whole new beginning. Okay, so let's see past life. Let's see past life information. Is there anything in your past life that can help you? <gasps> Look at this. Okay, orphan. Okay, so I'm hearing that in a past life, you were alone. So that is what helped make you strong. Okay, because birches are also known to be strong. Like I said, they can rise out of the ashes. They can still grow after hardships and ex bad experiences and negative experiences. So you are able to easily, you're used to being strong because you've survived many, you know, different things in your past and you've, you've overcome. You've, you've come out victorious. Okay, galactic. Yes, you're receiving a lot of supernatural support at this time and you're from a starseed family okay you also have some some roots in asia okay so it's like one of your past lives you have a connection to asia and that is helping you know you a lot of like i'm hearing feng shui so feng shui is a practice and i can link like an i'll link information or a video about feng shui but you can use feng shui to help you attract and to manifest even faster by setting up your home in a certain way, using certain colors, putting certain things in different places in your home. If you're not familiar with feng shui, but feng shui is going to be something very valuable for you. Okay. And look at this. In your past life, you were also a high priest or priestess. Okay. So that's why so many people, even back then, had respect for you and said all these good things about you because they know what a powerful person and being you are. Okay, so let's see what else. Pile number two, money blessings on the way. Yeah, so so what you whatever you've been working on is going to manifest, and that manifestation is bringing your money blessing. <gasps> Look at this body and soul. Yeah, so this is just a reminder to to keep faith. You know, like to you know work to have your body and soul working together at this time. Okay. Because when you manifest, sometimes it can drain you, your spiritual en energy. So you want to make sure you're also doing the balance of your body and your spiritual, you know, body, mind, and spirit. Okay. You can do meditation. You can do exercise. You could just want to balance yourself out. Okay. And the uncharted sea. Yes. This, this new venture that you're, that you're manifesting this is, the, you're finally doing it. It's, it's your new frontier. It's your new adventure. Okay. And you're, and again, with the 46 equals one, you are manifesting your number one, you know, you're, you're that it's, it's success, victory. You're doing something that you've always wanted to do, but that you've never done before. Well, pile number two. And, and that is with bringing that money to you. So let's see what else. What chakra do you need to focus on to help bring this money faster? Money blessing. What chakra, please, for pile number two? Okay, this one's sticking. Creativity. Use creativity to transform your pain into positivity. Right. Remember, you've, even if you've had hardships in this life, but even in you know past life when you were by yourself and having to be strong, it's now telling you in, now to use creativity to transform. Like, you know, just like the butterfly, you know, you can explain like, hey, I went through all this, but now I've turned it into something positive. Okay. And then that's why people are also talking because they're like, Wow, pile number two turned tragedy into triumph. Pile number two turned, you know, being a victim into a victor or having victory, you know. So you're you're the example of turning something negative to a positive. So let's get three final messages. Okay. And people, like I said, people are inspired by you, and that's why they're they're willing to pay. For, for what you're creating. Okay, so I have this one, which is, okay, so let's get two more. Oh, there's one. <laughs> you just reading, they're like, like I, they're gonna talk quickly. Okay, so let's see. So the first one that popped in, wanted to pop was breathe. Yeah, so you, again, mind, body, and soul. You want to, to make sure you're taking care of all of that. You can do deep breathing, meditation, 
If you're feeling stressed, just recenter yourself. Do not give up, right? And believe me, you are a tough cookie, okay? You've been through a lot, you know, past lifetime and possibly likely this lifetime. This is a reminder, don't give up because no matter what, you will always end up on top and always end up successful in the end. And lastly, ignore the haters, right? Keep the negative people away from you and only focus on these people that are supportive and positive and, and have loving, good things to say about you, okay? Because, because you really are a special, strong person, okay? You, you are that butterfly, okay, pile number two? So, wow, this, this is a lot to look forward to. I really do hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And until then, I will see you soon. Bye, my butterfly babies. Okay, so we're going to move on to pile number three to see what money blessings they have. Oops. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love the craziness sometimes. Pile number three. If you selected this card, the oak card, and this pyrite stone, and this little gold flamingo, this is your reading. Okay, so right off the bat, with this oak card, I mean, Oak represents, of course, the oak, the huge, strong, stable, sturdy, powerful, I'm hearing the phrase, um, mighty oak, you know, because these trees are indestructible. They're heavy, they're thick, they're sturdy, they're strong, they're stable. And this pyrite is that is that money, okay? And with the acorn, acorns are also, they draw prosperity because they represent luck, good fortune, and prosperity. So I feel like this is letting me know that this is like, this is not just your regular money blessing. This is a huge, huge amount. Okay. And with this, um, uh, flamingo, I'm hearing that this flamingo is going to, and it, what's funny is that it's gold. So it's like, you're going to be able to have a whole new style with this money upgrade. Like, you know, Gold, of course, you know, it's like you're going to have a new wardrobe. You're going to have ooh, this cards over here. You're going to have a new wardrobe. You're going to have a new sense of style and elegance and sophistication because now with the money that you're getting, you're able to afford that higher, those higher, you know, higher quality things or, um, or the clothes, you know, clothes that you want or the car that you want that you've always wanted. Okay. So this was the card that fell. So we're going to take this one. It says organize for success. Okay, so it just says, do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Okay, organize your thoughts, your reports, your living, and your workspace. Yeah, so this is letting me know that if you have any loose ends financially, you want to like take care of them now because once this huge, huge like avalanche or, or tidal wave of money comes in, you want to be able to, to not be overwhelmed and to be, to be able to organize, you know, you want to, it's like having a clean slate before this big, big, huge rush of money comes flowing in. Okay. So if you have any like smaller debts that you can start paying off, or, um, if you need to like, you say you have a drawer full of all these old receipts and they're just flying all over. You want to just get them organized, put them in an envelope, put them away. Or, or if you need to shred old paperwork that you don't need anymore, you just want to get organized because you want that clean, fresh slate. So you can focus on this huge, huge, monumental, life-changing amount of money that's coming in. Okay. So let's see what else. What about for income money, career finance, abundance, prosperity? Whoa. Okay, <laughs> we got two cards. We have three and we have the engineer. Yeah, and that's funny because engineers are highly organized. This is Mars. Every problem has a solution. So again, this is telling you it's time to organize and, and clean up and, and um, clear out anything that you don't need, especially even financially. You want to get everything in order. Oh, sorry, in order. <laughs> I'm trying to say organized, but in order, um, you can even like say you buy a filing cabinet and it helps you get everything nice and organized because you know, what's funny. It's reminding me, I used to go to this ice cream store a long time ago. It was like a small business and they used to iron their money. They would take an actual clothes iron and iron their money 
and they would keep it so clean and organized because, and I said, well, why are you doing that? This is, I was, I was in high school and I said, why are you doing that? They said, because when we respect and take care of the money, it generates more. And they were, and you know, it's like, they felt like if they kept it clean and organized that it would generate even more money. And it did because this business was highly successful. Okay. So the messenger, I bring the light of awareness, right? And I'm hearing that you are going to receive some kind of email letter, um, either a letter, an email, or some kind of written communication with some good news with money news, okay? And that has to do with your windfall, okay? And the strategist, right? So again, this goes back to organization. You need to do this and, you know, take this step and then this step, get all of your, you know, all of these steps, get all of your ducks in a row so that you can enjoy this huge, huge windfall of abundance, okay? Because that way, again, you won't feel overwhelmed. You can just You'll be able to, you'll know what to do with things and you'll be able to enjoy it more. Okay, so let's see in your past life, what in your past life is helping you manifest this money blessing? Please speak for pile number three. Okay, this card is baby. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So what I'm hearing is the birth, like I said, the birth of this, this new financial life. Okay. And a baby, this is your past life, okay? So in a past life, you were this, you know what I'm hearing? You were the baby, somebody in, in the past, in your past life, they were having for, like fertility problems, okay? And they couldn't have a child. And it's like the family, it almost was like the family line was going to end, but then you were that miracle baby, that came and they, and, and you are the one that continued the family line. Okay. And that's why you are considered a very special being and a very special person, even now in this life. Okay. So let's see what else. Let's see what, 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 um, chakra, what chakra crystal does pile number three need to focus on right now to bring these blessings faster. Okay. We have two. This is letting go of the sacral chakra. Okay, yeah. So you want to let go of any negativity. Remember, you're organizing yourself. You're letting go of old stuff, old financial things that you don't need, just anything, old emotional things you don't need. It says letting go is the first. Letting go is not giving up. Sometimes it's the first step towards success, right? So with this, this power, you're going to have a lot of power that comes with this money, so you just want to let go and start with that clean slate like we've been talking about, the clean slate. That's what you're looking for. Clean slate financially, clean slate emotionally, physically, spiritually, and in all ways. Okay, and lastly, it says the heart chakra, green ocean jasper. It says the connection, Father Divine and Mother Earth make love in your heart. Yeah, so you want to keep that loving spirit going because that's going to help you manifest faster. Okay, this huge, huge, like I said, this is not your normal blessing. This is a huge blessing. And with Mercury, it's coming a lot faster than you think. Okay, so let's see what else. Let's shuffle with some inspiration. Whoa, and let's get three final messages for pile number three. One, two, two, three, okay. So the first one is, you were a leader, not a follower. Right, remember, you were that special baby, that long-awaited baby in the past, that made you stand out and made you unique. And that's why even now in this lifetime, you're a leader, not a follower. Wow, your future is bright. Yes, that money is coming. That new life is coming. It's amazing. And lastly, keep moving forward. Right, that is the direction you're going. You're moving forward to come and to, to reap the success and to reap your, your benefits and your money and your rewards. Wow, pile number three, this has been your reading. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And until then, I will see you soon. Bye, my butterfly babies.